So today we're going to finish up with interaction design. And then we're going to talk about assignment one. Remember, assignment one is a individual or group? Group. Group assignment. So I'm going to try to get through the lecture quickly so that I can give you some time to form your groups, if you have not already, and start working on this assignment. Now, one of the things I'll tell you about this assignment is it's a lot of fun. I know everything in this class is fun. One of the things I want to make sure that you do for this assignment, one is I want you to get to know your group members because you are going to have much more complex group projects. And the other is I really want you to take a critical eye to what I'm asking you to do. Put yourself in the shoes of a user. But we'll talk more about that later. It's actually a very, very easy assignment. It's probably the easiest assignment you'll have the entire semester. Kind of ease you in a little. I know you're like, why? Why? I want it hard. Right? No? Okay. All right, so last time we left off, we had talked about our usability goals. Our usability goals are the, all these goals that I want you to make sure that you talk about in your forum post. Make sure it's explicit. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly. I'm not going to go through the questions again. Just go through each of them really quickly before we go on and talk about some of the design principles that I also want you to be very familiar with. So there's effective to use or effectiveness, a general goal that refers to how good a product is at doing what it's supposed to do. It's efficient to use or user efficiency. How effective is the way the product supports users in carrying out their tasks? In other words, does it involve as few easy to follow steps as needed? Is it safe to use? Remember that we talked about a lot of different kinds of safety. We tend to think first of physical safety, but we need to think about other kinds of safety, psychological safety. If you are a child, do you want to send your child to a uh, not so appropriate website? If you are banking, do you want someone to have access to your banking information and take all of the money that you have out of your account? Those sorts of things. Having good utility. The product provides the right kind of functionality that the user needs. Very important that it needs to be what the user needs. Is it easy to learn or learnability? How easy is it to initially learn how to use the system? And how easy is it to remember how to use the system once you've learned it? Now, what is one thing that I did tell you that I really want you to remember, I think I mentioned this last time, about all of these usability goals as a whole? What's something that you may often have to do when you're trying to apply them, when you're designing something? Yeah, you want to have the user, yeah, yeah you actually want to have the user work on the project because your interpretation of these goals may not necessarily be the exact same interpretation as your typical user because we are IT people, we are technical people, we love technology. Not everyone else does. What else? What do you sometimes, I'm going to stand here and give you a hint. What do you sometimes have to do? Balance. Maybe I should put a tightrope next time. So sometimes you're going to need to actually balance these out. You may have to sacrifice learnability for memorability or learnability for safety. Or you may even have to sacrifice some safety for memorability. So you need to really think carefully about having this correct balance and you gauge that based on working with your users. There is unfortunately no black and white, no cut and dry, no perfect solution for every single application. We actually have to analyze, think about it, and work with our users. So here are usability goals. Take a look at them really quick because in the next slide what I want you to do is I want you to compare them to something I'm about to show you. Are you ready? User experience goals. It's a little bit different. So take a look at these. Satisfying, enjoyable, engaging, pleasurable, exciting, entertaining, helpful, rewarding, creative, fun, provocative, as well as some negative ones. Boring, 
frustrating, annoying, and one that some people think is a negative, cutesy. You like cutesy stuff, right? No? Some of us do. I like it, cutesy stuff on my kids. My husband doesn't like it on him, though. But you have kids, you'll learn to love it. So take a look at these, and then I'm going to go back a slide. difference do you see between those? Anyone? I'm, 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 I'm hearing whispers, but can't quite hear what you're saying. All right, so these are a lot more general. You're looking at things more as a whole. If you look at these, these tend to elicit more people's emotions and how individuals react to things. This is much more emotionally laden. It's much more visceral for us as users. So these are the types of things that your users will experience. This is how you want to try to get to the positive aspects of a user experience. Do you see the difference? And so that's a difference that you really want to be cognizant of when you are thinking about your user. How do you want them to react to the product and how do you get there? So we want them, of course, to react in a positive manner, hopefully in the the top portion of this, but we can look at usability goals to help us get there. So these are guidelines. You might say these are ultimately what we want our users to experience. Make sense? Now, at this point, I often have students ask me, do I have to memorize this entire list? Am I going to ask you a question that says, tell me all of the user experience goals that we talked about in class? Who wants that on exam? No? Just to memorize it. Some people are saying yes. Half. Half. You can do half. OK, well, I'm actually going to make it a little bit easier for you. You don't have to memorize all of these. But you do need to understand the difference between these and your, your uh, usability goals. That's what I really want you to come out of it. Because if you understand that difference, you'll be able to generate something like this. But by the way, these you have to know. And you have to know how to apply them. I get lots of fabulous, fabulous questions on your exams out of these, as well as the design principles. So as we mentioned, when we are working with our user experience goals and looking at our usability goals, we want to focus on the user. You want to make sure that you look at your trade-offs. You want to make sure you know the difference. And you also want to think about, you ultimately are going to have to analyze your system. Analyzing your user experience goals is actually more difficult than your usability goals. Why? Because now you're dealing with more complex human reactions. But you want to make sure that when you are looking at your designs, or even looking at other designs, that you are keeping both in mind.